Oh, right here, right here. Oh, boy, that was a good finish. Right there, he got it, he got it, he got it. Now maybe trying to paddle. There he is. This is the guy of Georgia Outdoors. We're back at it fishing today. We're uh, hitting up the pond behind me. This is a pond I've been fishing a lot. And uh, we're gonna be fishing in a kayak and I'm not much of a kayak fisherman. And this kayak is by no means set up for uh, fishing, but we're gonna make it happen. But in each video, I like to have kind of like a purpose or a theme. And in this video, we're fishing with this snake lure. Um, this lure is kind of expensive from my perspective. I paid $21 for this lure, um, which is, you know, for me, that's a good bit of money. And I didn't bring anything but this lure and one rod. That's what we're fishing with this afternoon. We're gonna be, uh, be married to this thing. But um, as always, I'm wearing my uh, Waterland sunglasses. Really love them, lightweight. You don't even know they're on. That's what I really like about sunglasses. And they help you see through the water to polarize. So a uh, good pair of glasses. Check them out if you haven't already done so. But we're gonna get in the kayak and we're gonna uh, see if we can catch some fish on the snake lure. As I was telling you, this is by no means set up for fishing. This is a cheap kayak you get from Walmart. And I just about exceed the weight on there just by myself without any gear on there. So uh, it's gonna be interesting. I don't really like sitting that low when I'm fishing, but we're gonna make it happen. We're gonna see what we can do. We're gonna get it out and we're gonna go out there fishing. I think there's some bass to be caught out there. All right, here we go. There we go. About dipped in right then out the gate, but we made it. Like I said, it's not a bad riding kayak. It's just uh, really low to the water level. And I do remember this paddle right here. This paddle is aggravating. It dips water across you every time you lift up. Whoever designed this paddle was a horrible design. It gets you soaking wet. Try changing it the other direction. Pretty good looking lure. It's got good action. Boy, and very sharp. You see that right there? That one in the finger. All right, we don't want to get too close up here. I'm gonna stop the video for a second. We're gonna be doing a giveaway in this video. Um, that snake lure we're gonna be fishing with, we're gonna be giving it away to one of y'all if you uh, leave a comment below. Um, stay to the end of the video, we're gonna tell you what kind of comment to leave and we'll mail this lure right to you, but you gotta stick to the end and leave a comment. Camera's not gonna do it justice from this angle, but that thing's got some excellent movement. Some great action. Just floats when you stop. Just going to kind of do a light retrieve kind of a steady retrieve and then a couple jerks let it stop every now and again just like a snake would swim snakes don't just swim all the way across the pond in one motion they'll stop ever so often this uh this pond has kind of got a flat ledge right here and right where i'm at it starts to starts to dip off starts to taper down a little bit deeper and uh I don't know where exactly where these bass are going to be staged right now i'm hoping somewhere on this little shelf but if not we're going to work this little drop off there you go right there right there hit it right there oh that was a decent bass decent bass right there he hit it so gently that he didn't really even uh strike at it he just kind of came up and hit it and that was a decent bass For some reason my GoPro was not recording but I did catch a fish he wasn't really big I was doing more of a herky-jerky um, retrieve as opposed to a quick and steady retrieve and maybe that is the trick I've seen a pretty good sized fish roll over here to my left Right there. Oh, he got it. He got it. That's a decent bass. He hit it a couple times, actually. Yep, he hit at it. Let's bring him back here. Look at that one. That was a pretty good bass. That one's pretty. He's 
two pounds. I think we could do better than that one. Pretty best. I love hitting that top water. So they'll, they'll hit it pretty good. Just gotta find them. Kind of sitting out here in the middle. I don't know if you can see that. But look at the old wood duck flying over. Not sure if you can see all the feathers out the side of that thing. So that lets me know that that one been used this year, which is a good sign. See if there's anything in there. There he is. He's running with it. I think they hit it and it, they're surprised when it gets them. Because I think that's what they're doing is just hitting it. And I think he was in full shock that he was caught by what just hit him. See, that doesn't strike me as a fish that was wanting to hit it to eat it. It strikes me as a fish that was just saying, you know what? What is that? I'm going to go investigate. And all of a sudden, what I investigated got me. I got something stirred up in there. Water went to moving as soon as I, there it is right there. Oh, come on, come on. Hit it again. Be back out of there real quick. When I threw that in there. Water went to moving. Something decent hit at that, but it missed it. As I can't get it to go again. May have already spooked that one out. May come back by this place on the way out. See if we can't give it one more cast, because I'll come right by here in a little bit. We're gonna work this uh, side of the pond down and to about that dam, and we're gonna call it an afternoon. Wife's cooking dinner. My grandpa would say, call me whatever you want, just don't call me late for supper. We're right there. Right there. Oh, man. I am currently doing a lot more missing than catching with this thing. Well, I'm just minding my own business, just floating around here in the shallow, thinking that a big old bass might come and hit this, but I'm running out of daylight real quick. Boy, he, he hit it. Man, they're hitting. They're hitting. Right there, right there, right there. That's a good bass. Not a real big one, but it's a good one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he hit it. It took, it took two times of hitting it. Let's see if we can get him in the boat without... There we go. Um, he's close to the same size as the one I uh, caught her in. Don't want to hook in my leg, that's for sure. And these hooks are razor sharp. There we go. That's a pretty bass. It took several casts and all afternoon to get him. He's, he's in that two pound range. Pretty fish. Let's see if we can pick up a few more. The old alligator hears what's going on. He came over here as well. Okay, things are getting a little exciting right here at right before dark. He hit that a couple of times before he committed to taking it. What I did was after he hit it, I just let it sit still and worked it in that one little area for a minute. And sure enough, he came back and went for seconds. I would like to have another go at one of them. That first fish I missed of the day, he wasn't real big, but he'd add to a, a mediocre afternoon, that's for sure. Boy, right there, right there. Oh, boy, that was a good fish. Back up. Right there, he got it, he got it, he got it. And I'm over trying to paddle. 
There he is. And look here, I don't want, I know what that's gonna do. It's gonna bring that bass to me. I mean, that old alligator to me. There we go. There the alligator, I gotta keep my eye on him. When this little kayak, my elbow is almost touching the water here. And I ain't particularly worried about him. I'm sure you can, I'm sure you'll say otherwise by my voice. But look at that. If you don't love fishing, man, not the studs we were after, but definitely good sized fish. I'll let this one go as well. <laughs> you wouldn't let go of my finger. All right, here's our last spot of the day before we call it an evening. I missed a decent fish here earlier. Somewhere at about that little gap in between those cattails. That's close enough. May not be perfect, but that's close enough. I'm gonna stop us right here. There it is. Not the fish I was uh, anticipating, but you know how that always said man's desires for one more? Well, there's my one more. But I don't think this is the one that really got me earlier. Gotta go. One more cast in there. Oh, we're gonna miss. Now I'm on like 2% of my GoPro, my last battery, so we're gonna see if we can get this on video. After a couple hours fishing with it, the snake lure does catch fish, um, but I don't think it catches more fish than any other top water lure that I have. And $21 compared to lures that I already have, I'll probably just stick with the uh, top water lures that I currently have. Um, I have a little bit more confidence with them and I know how to set the hook and kind of work them a little bit better, but it does catch fish. All right, we're gonna be doing a giveaway and we're gonna give away the snake lure that we fished with in this video, the same exact one, we're gonna mail it to you. All you have to do is tell us the biggest bass that you caught on top water, top water lures on the big bass and put it uh, put it in the comment below and we're gonna choose one of those. And the winner, we will uh, get your address and we'll send the lure straight to you. Maybe you'll catch some fish, about a $21 value plus tax. But I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. It does catch fish. Um, I always like going out there for a purpose. And uh, this one, we were trying to catch some fish on the snake lure. But I uh, hope you uh, enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button. Till the next one, this has been the unofficial, no doubt incomplete guide, George Outdoors.